Welcome to basic types of lines used in engineering drawings. My name is Lucy. An engineering drawing or print is used as a communication tool between engineering and manufacturing. Once the external and internal shape of the part is determined, information about the size and location of part features are provided by the dimensions. In this activity, we'll explore the different types of engineering lines, learn what those lines mean, and take a short quiz. Object or visible lines are used to represent the outline or contour of the object being drawn. These lines appear as thick, continuous lines. Select the button that best represents an object line. Center lines are used to represent either the center of round or cylindrical features or the symmetry of a feature. These lines appear as thin width lines with alternating long and short dashes. Select the button that best represents a center line. Center marks are used to represent the center points of a radius, arc, or circle. These marks appear as small crosses at the center point of a radius or circle. Select the button that best represents a center mark. Hidden lines represent an object's invisible edges and outlines. These features can't be seen from the drawing's view. These lines appear as thin, width lines with short dashes. Select the button that best represents a hidden line. Phantom lines represent the outline of an adjacent part, show alternate positions of a moving part, or replace repetitive details such as gear teeth and threads. These lines appear as thin width lines with two short dashes between single long dashes. Select the button that best represents a phantom line. Break lines represent an area of an object that has been removed for clarity or convenience. Short break lines appear as short lines within the object, and long break lines appear as longer lines that represent a larger portion of an object that was removed to shorten the view. Which one of these four lines best represents an example of a break line? Cutting plane lines represent an imaginary cut through a part to show a cross section. These lines may be a series of long dashes or two short dashes between a pair of long dashes. Which one of these lines represents a cutting plane line? Viewing plane lines represent the direction of sight used to view a particular feature. These lines may be a series of long dashes or two short dashes between a pair of long dashes. Which one of these lines best represents a viewing plane line? Section lines are used to show where material has been cut away in a section view. A cutting plane line, or break line, may be used to expose the material. These lines are drawn using different patterns to designate various types of materials. Which one of these best represents a section line? Now it's time to check your knowledge. Select the term that best describes the drawing shown. An understanding of the basic types of dimensioning is essential to interpreting engineering drawings. Manufacturing would be impossible without being able to determine the size and location of part features. You have completed this learning activity, Interpreting Engineering Drawings, Basic Types of Lines Used in Engineering Drawings.